Hi guys, um, I know I've been absent from videos um, and stuff for a while now. I've um, just been really hectic with Christmas and of course we finally get The Forced Awakens. Um, had various um, job interviews, applications and whatnot. And of course um, I've been busy trying to clean up um, the mess that is a lot of my boxes at the moment because a shelf with um, some Frida Florence Hasbro figures decided to fall down. Um, nothing um, too major though, thank god, nothing's broken. Um, and I'm going to probably put my um, Sideshow and Hot Toys boxes up on the shelf instead of um, figures this time around. So, like I said, um, I am just doing a collection update today um, of some figures that you probably may already own, um, or some of you might um, not yet. Okay, so um, first of all, going back a bit, we have the Hot Toys Han Solo, um, and of course the Hot Toys Chewbacca. Chewbacca is definitely the um, figure of the year for me, and I apologise for the lighting there. But um, a fully third, fully poseable Chewbacca is just ridiculously awesome. Um, and he's, you can see how tall he is now. Han's on the display stand, um, Chewie is not. So you can just imagine um, how tall he is when Han's off the display stand, um, which is really cool. Um, we have um, Hot Toys Obi-Wan Kenobi from A New Hope. Something very cool there. Um, and then just a couple of my older figures, the original Sideshow Leia, um, the um, Sideshow R2-D2, if he's lights, um, and then the um, Tamashi Diecast C-3PO, um, which is also looking very cool. And I just love the fact that we finally, um, I mean, I know we've had the Sideshow set for a long time, Minus Chewbacca, of course, but um, it's just amazing to have an original cast again. Now, the newest figure in this shelf is the Hot Toys um, 297 Luke Skywalker. Now, um, recently Sideshow have started um, this thing where they ship some regions direct from Hong Kong now. Um, luckily for us, um, Australia is one of those reason, regions. Now, I believe um, we were charged probably roughly about two weeks ago, um, and we received them late last week. So it did take a while to get here. Um, there was a lot of processing issues for some reason. Probably, um, maybe even um, some say that it could have been the fact that the courier chose to, that UPS chose to, um, deliver all the Kylo Ren's and stuff out, or the fact that Hot Toys themselves um, decided to move Kylo Ren out before any of the old orders, um, but um, who actually knows what goes on there. Um, now you can see that um, I don't have Darth Vader at this stage, I did not order him from Search Collectibles, way too expensive, um, but he will be in Australia in January, um, as will the Sand Trooper, um, and I'll talk a bit about that later because, as you're going to find out, January is a freaking ridiculous month. Um, like, I thought this was ridiculous, but January is going to be crazy. Um, now, yeah, you can see that I've eliminated the lightsaber to show that um, I haven't got everyone's turned on, because he's to the back there, but um, all the Hot Toys figures have this um, illuminated saber, which is quite good, and it's just a simple matter of flicking um, a switch on the wrist there. So, um or um, lower arm I should say, but um, you can see it looks nice even when it's not lit up. Um, and then we have the old side show Yoda there. So um, very impressed, really good figures. Um, can't wait for the Leia to come out, um, hopefully she's not that far off. Now um, on the side show end of things, you've also had the Imperial Tie Palette. Now, he hit Australia uh, this week, I believe. Um, I've seen him at Zing um, in pop culture. But again, um, this one's the Sideshow exclusive version, so I had mine probably about two to two and a half weeks ago. Um, nothing on the display stand, but underneath it, it does say Star Wars. Um, so he's got the pistol. Should probably... 
hopefully you can't see once again i apologize for the lighting um normally it'd be a lot more well lit but there is a stack of boxes behind me um so yeah we, we do have him and the, the new bodies that they're using are spectacular and for those who say that a sideshow body um can't hold the pose well you definitely haven't had the new figures because the new sideshow troopers can definitely definitely hold the pose So um, one of my other favourite shelves is the Trooper shelf, um, or Stormtrooper shelf. So we've got the um, got the two Hot Choice Troopers are at the back and the shorter Hot Choice Trooper at the front here. Um, but the newest addition is Space. Um, his rifle is featured in the new Battlefront game. Um, it's a ridiculously overpowered rifle. Um, it takes you out in... Um, maximum of two hits, but if you're really lucky, it's one hit kill. Um, and he does, of course, have the non-removable backpack there. So, um, um, my space trip was delayed a bit. With delayed a bit, um, I chose to use a twenty dollars off coupon. Um, when I did that, um, mine did not ship with everyone else's which wasn't that much of a big deal because um, I got, I practically got Space Trooper and TIE Pilot on the same day um, which was really cool to come home to so um, you can just see, yeah, I've got the Hasbro um, 5 point troopers, the old sideshow troopers there and yeah, um, and I've also got an old Marmot trooper to the back there and there's the old sideshow standing in front of the Hot Toys and this is the sideshow deluxe Darth Vader um, you can see how just tall, how tall he is, um, and again, another great sideshow figure that can stand, um, without a base, which is awesome. Um, now, I don't know how many of you, um, are anime fans, but you can see them, um, that I have, um, Sebastian, Sebastian from, um, back Black Butler there, um, he's really cool, um, I've also, um, got CL Phantomheim on the way, um, but I, he's not expected to leave Japan until, um, late January I think it is, um, I also have a really cool, the really cool Medicom, um, Link figure, now I know he's been out a while, but, um, I picked him up in August and I did, um, show him off in a collection update, but, um, I just thought, He's worth mentioning again. Of course, we have the ever so awesome Saber, um, also known as um, Ataria Pendragon. Um, and you can't see her. You can't see Excalibur there because it's hidden behind um, Eddard Stark. But um, again, really cool figures. Um, we've just had so much awesome stuff this year. Um, we also have um, Mad Eye Moody or Alistair Moody, um, the plain clothes Sirius Black, and the Voldemort um, from Star Ace. In Star Ace, um, we're also doing a Dumbledore, a Hagrid. Um, they've also got um, a lot of the younger figures out as well. Um, I'm not going to buy the younger ones. I'm just focusing on the older ones, but. Um, Again, I just thought they were worth um, the mention. And of course, we have a five-point articulation thing from The Forced Awakens. So, um, obviously, um, with The Forced Awakens, Hot Toys have a variety um, of different Stormtroopers and stuff out. And, of course, we have the Ray Order. Now we also have the um, Black Series, so we have Poe Dameron in his um, pilot gear, um, we have Poe Dameron um, in his regular gear, and we have the now famous Riot Trooper, for those of you who have seen the movie, um, for those of you who haven't, I definitely recommend you do, 
um, as I believe people are going to start talking about it um, willingly from tomorrow. Um, we also have the exclusive Kylo Ren, um, or he's from Starkler Base. Now, um, quick announce, they are out in Australia. Um, now, for those of you in Brisbane, um, Big W at Carindale have a ridiculous amount of these. Her, um, so where they've got their, um, their normal Star Wars section, um, where they used to have the Transformers, um, a tiny bit down opposite the, diagonally opposite the Hot Wheels, um, there's like 24 Kylo Ren's there. Um, and Carindale and Garden City, um, both have these, and Riverlink at Ipswich has a stack of them. So, um, both of them can be picked up in Brisbane at the moment. I'm not too sure about anywhere else. Um, I mainly just go by what I see picture-wise and stuff. Um, I am a bit disappointed that the uh, Kylo Ren FX lightsaber has been pushed back. Um, but I'll probably just lay by it now um, when it comes in. Um, you also have Finn, Chewbacca, Stormtrooper, Phasma. Um, now, um, Constable Constable um, Zivio, however, however you choose to say it, um, is going to be a debatable character, I think. Um, depending on if you've seen the movie or not, you'll know what I'm talking about. So once again, I don't want to um, say anything about these guys, um, other than the fact that the movie is quite enjoyable and I liked it. Um, we have the regular Kyran, the Toys R Us, um, exclusive Snowtrooper and the Enforcer. Now you will notice that Ray is missing. Um, I'm getting Ray um, as part of a Christmas present. The only place I've seen her is Zing. Um, so yeah, I just my partner just chose to um, grab her and yeah. Um, so, that's um, why Ray's not there, but I do have the set um, so far. Now, recent, um, now very soon, we are going to see Hux, TIE Pilot, and Resistance Soldier released. And then next year, we are going to, of course, see Han Solo and a few others. Um, but I haven't seen any of those over in Australia just yet. Um, now we also have the five point articulation Captain Phasma. Um, very cool. I can't believe it was only fifteen dollars, considering since Kylo Ren and the others um, were um, were generally twenty twenty five. Um, you can see Flame Trooper and a few others, but we do have the Hot Toys um, First Order Squad Leader. Now this is why I say January is going to be ridiculous for Australia. So, First Order Squad Leader arrived um, last week, or early this week, depending on where in Australia you were. January, you have the two-pack, if you ordered it, um, and both single. You also have, there's massive rumours Kylo Ren is going to be with them, um, Luke Skywalker, Sand Trooper. Now, if you're a Marvel fan, you also have Thanos. Pepper Potts, the Pepper Potts 2-pack, it's, it's just crazy, there are so many Hot Toys hitting Australia in January, um, along with the other merchandise, um, and of course, if you're in Singapore and, um, other part, um, areas of Asia closest to Australia, you should also be getting Copper Chrome, um, very shortly as well, um, and I'm still... Um, I have hopefully got one ordered. Well, I've been told that I've got one ordered. Um, just um, waiting on that. But um, I, like I said, I've been told January as the release date, so it's just massive. 
So if you count uh, this, this, I'm just going by what I've seen at um, my local store. Um, 400 for Veda, well, three, I think it's 380 ish or something for Veda, but I'm going to go with four, round it up. Um, 400 for Veda, 600 for the two pack, 300 for the Sand Trooper, um, three to 400 for Copper Chrome. So you're looking at like $1,800. That's just Star Wars. And then again, if you've ordered Luke, throw an extra three um, on top of that. Thanos is 400 upwards so yeah a very expensive month january um but nonetheless a lot of very cool stuff coming out um so like i said um oh and you also have the various um hot wheels being released um you also get there is also a um Palpatine car. Um, you can get all of them. Oh, I didn't get Captain Phasma as well. Um, you can get them all in a pack, all the ones that have been released to date in a pack with, um, I think it's a five pack. Um, it's got Anakin in the middle um, and the car flips over. It's Darth Vader, but um, when you flip it over, um, it's got Anakin on the reverse side. So um, I knew it was how these little wind up guys, um, which weren't too much. Um, now, non Star Wars related, but um, one of the last things I did get um, is the bat signal with Gordon. Now, um, I am really happy to have it, but at the same time, I'm also a bit disappointed. Um, I was told that I could lay by it. Um, I was at um, Supernova talking to the guys at Pop. Um, they were like, "Yeah, man, you just gotta put a deposit down, etc." Um, they told me I could order it online, just print out the receipt. So I paid the deposit online, printed the receipt, and took it took it to them. And they were like, "Yeah, that's fine. Um, it'll be a uh, um, four to six week deposit um, layby." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's fine." <sighs> Get a phone call that day. Yeah, actually, no mate, we um, can't actually lay by that item because it's low stock. Um, you have to pay for it today or forfeit it. So I had to um, pay in full. Um, which, as you know, would put strain on you this time of year. Um, thankfully, it's all been sorted now. Um, but it's all good. But yeah, I'm a bit annoyed about um, that little customer service stuff up. Um, but yeah, that's practically it, guys. Um, so like I said, there's a lot coming out um, very shortly. Um, and I hope you'll see some more quick looks or um, unboxings real soon, depending on how long it takes, <laughs> takes them to get here. Alright, thanks guys.